hello guys and welcome back to the channel in today's tutorial i'll be showing you how i made this simple shift dress with mandarin color if you'd like to see how i made this please watch the end of this tutorial and if this is your first time of coming across my video you're welcome consider subscribing if you're here to subscribe to this channel and don't forget to like this video so let's get started the first thing I did was to fold my fabric into four. I folded the front into two and the back into two. I will be cutting the front and the back together. And the width of my fabric on fold is quarter of the hip circumference plus extra two inches. And then I've ruled out my vertical lines. The first line is the shoulder line and to eight inches is the chest line. 15 inches is the waist line and 23 inches as the hip line. I have the length of this dress as 34.5 inches and I added extra 1.5 inches for hemming the dress. On the shoulder line, I'm going to take the shoulder slope. I'm going to use the 3 inch 8 inches standard for shoulder slope. I've noted the 3 inches point and I'm going to note the 8 inches point. And from that 8 inches point, I came down by 1 inch for the shoulder slope. And I will be connecting that to the 3 inch point I noted earlier. Then on the shoulder line, I'm going to impute half of the shoulder measurement, which is 7 inches. I'll also impute that on the chest line and connect the two points together. On the chest line as well, I'm going to impute quarter of the bust measurement and I'll be adding extra 1 inch for ease. Then I would find the midpoint of this straight line I have between the shoulder slope and the chest line. I would note that from that midpoint, I would curve using a French curve to the measurements I have on the chest line for the bust uh, measurement. And this will be for the back armhole curve. For the front armhole, I will come in word by half inch at that midpoint and then connect it to the shoulder slope this way as I'm demonstrating and then down to the measurement on the chest line just as I'm doing. Then I'm going to add another one inch for sewing allowance for joining uh, the um, front and the back together. All the measurements I have on the chest line, I'm going to bring that down on the waistline. So I'm not using the waist measurements in this um, tutorial. I'll connect the two points together. On the hip line, I'm going to impute quarter of the hip measurement plus extra one inch for ease. Then I'm going to take another one inch for sewing allowance. I'll connect the measurement on the waistline to the measurement on the hip line. Then I'm going to bring down the measurement I have on the hip line on the hem of this dress on the total length I have. I'm going to bring that down the measurement on the hip line. I brought that down on the hemline and I'm going to connect the measurements on the hip line to the measurements on the hemline as I'm demonstrating and I extended it to the uh, hemming allowance. Then for the neckline, I use a neck width of 3 inches, then a neck depth of 0 0.75, 3 quarter of an inch for the back neck depth and I'm just curving out the back neckline. For the front neckline, I'll use a depth of 3 inches. And then I would make a curve for the front neckline. So after this, I'm going to take half inch joining allowance on the shoulder for joining the front and the back together. Okay. And then after that, I'll go ahead and cut out my dress. So like I said, I'll just cut. I've taken all the measurements. I'll cut out the... Um, the dress as it is the front and the back together but if you want to shape yours like I'm, I'm about to do now I want to ha give it a little bit shape on the waist so on the waist I'm going to come waistline I came inward by half an inch remember I brought down the measurement on the chest line to the waistline so I'm coming in now by half an inch as I've just marked I'll connect this half an inch to the measurement on the chest line this way and then I'll also connect it to the hip line this way. So you can totally cut it out as it was before. But if you want to give your shape, you can go ahead and do this step. Then I'll go ahead and cut out. So when cutting out, remember the front and the back are together. So just cut out the back neckline first and the back armhole first. So do not cut the front and the back together. The, the 
the neckline for the front with the back okay so i'll lift the front part and cut out the neckline for the front and then i'm also going to shift in the back piece and cut out the armhole for the front and this is this for our dress so this is what i have at this point so i've removed the back piece there's going to be a slit in front okay i'm going to have a four inch length um slit in front so for that i've cut out a facing which i have um the length is about eight and a half inches and unfold i have two inches that's if you open it up i have four inches and i've ironed in um soft stay on the on the facing so i'm placing it this way just to trim out the neckline okay i want the facing to take the neckline of the of the front neckline so that's what i've just done i'm cutting out this part so i'm going to open up the front piece to the right side and i'm going to open you can not, notice the crease i have on the front part and also the facing has a crease i'm placing them right side to right side and i'm going to pin them on the crease line okay so the crease on the facing should match the crease on the on the dress on the front piece and i'm going to mark out that four inch slip length i want so i've marked that out so what i'm going to do is sew half inch on both sides of that crease line in a v-shape okay so it ends at a, uh, at a v-shape on that um, four inch point so i've done that i've sewn them together so see what i have i'm i'm then going to slit it open now that i've sewn them together at the crease point i'm going to slit them open and then i'm going to notch i'm notching the seam i have on both sides so after notching i'm going to go and top stitch towards the facing piece after top stitching i'll give it a good press and then we'll go um, over to the next step so i've done all that i've top stitched and ironed properly so i also hemmed in the rough edges of the of the facing in so everything will look um, neat so what i'm going to do now is to place the front piece and the back piece together right sides facing each other and join them by the shoulder with half inch and by the sides by one inch i've already done that i've sewn up everything so the next thing will be to cut out the sleeve for for this dress so i've placed i've cut out pieces two pieces for the two sleeves and they are on fold i have a length of 10 inches i'll be making my my sleeve 10 inches of length i'll be attaching a one inch band to it and i'm using a capped height of five inches i just noted half of the um round armhole i'm working with which is eight inches and i'm just making a curve that place and i've added extra one inch for um sewing allowance i'm going at the hem of the sleeve i would impute five and a half inches which is half of my round sleeve opening and i'll add extra one inch and connect and just cut out um, my sleeve okay so i have a playlist of different sleeves on my channel and i'll be dropping um the link to the playlist in the description box so you can choose any sleeve of your choice and attach to your shift dress okay but for this particular tutorial i'm making this um, sleeve so for the band um for my sleeve like i said i'm going to add a band to it it's going to be a tie band okay so i've cut out a strip of um fabric on fold i have one and a half inches and the total length i have is 34 inches and i've ironed in soft stay at the point that would be attached to the sleeve okay so what i'm going to do now is um i'm going to take my sleeve and slit it i'm going to um, make a slit a two inch slit at the center this way okay so just note where i'm marking two inches two inches i'll mark it on the other slit and then slit it i'm going to cut it open at that point for the both sleeves then i'll go ahead and just hem that part i'll just fold in um, quarter quarter inch and fold and hem that um, slit i've made after that i'm going to then close my um, sleeve by the side after closing it by the side this is what i have at this point then i'm going to attach the band so to attach my band i'm going to fold my band into two you can see how i've ironed my band okay i've ironed one part of the allowance in on the band so i'm going to fold it into two equal parts and note the midpoint that midpoint midpoint will be 
pinned at uh, it will be sewn at the seam the seam part of the sleeve and then i'm going to pin all around and sew so after sewing i'm going to then flip the other side and use it to close the first seam this way so you can see what i'm doing now close the first seam and then for the hem of this um tie band i have i'm going to um turn it the other way and close the end so that it looks neat then i'll join everything together okay so after that i'll go ahead and attach um, the sleeve to the armhole opening so for the collar i'm going to fold my neckline to this way and measure the neck um the neckline what i have the measurements i have there and unfold this way i had nine inches and i also measured the back neckline as well and the uh, 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 the back neckline unfold was four inches so when you open up you have a total of 18 inches um for the neckline so i'm just going to draft out my collar on this piece of paper okay so when you measure on fold remember that it means that your collar is on fold that's not the total length whatever is the half length is the total length when you open it up okay so the back neckline you measure you also keep that in mind so the back i measured was four inches on fold so that's what i'm noting here so for um from the straight line i measured out four inches for the back then i'm going to measure out five inches for the front neckline so that's what i'm noting like this on my paper So I'm making the lines visible with my uh, marker. So I have a total length of nine inches. Okay. So for the for the this is the center back and this side is the center front. Okay. So the folded this part is the back. The back will be cut on fold. Okay. For the collar. So the collar height I want is one point two five inches, one and quarter inch. Okay. So I'm just noting that on the back part. Okay. So after noting that, I'm going to make it into a straight line. Now, for the front part, because the neck is not straight, I'm going to make a curve. So at that center front part I've noted, I'm going to come upward by half an inch and use a curved uh, ruler. I'm using a French curve to connect it this way to this midline, separating the front neckline and the back neckline. Okay. So I will also then take from the curve line I have, and I'm going to measure upward by one and quarter inch and reconnect it back okay so i'm going to connect this back connect it this way to meet the measurements i have for the um back part okay so just follow what i'm doing and look at it and you get what i'm saying i'm going to use a marker to make the lines visible okay so to avoid gaping I'm going to come inward this way by half an inch and connect it to the tip this other way. So just see what I've done. So this is to avoid gaping of the collar. Okay. So after doing this, I'm going to add half inch allowance. I want to add my allowances on this pattern. So I'm going to add half inch allowance all round except for the part I noted as the center back because the back doesn't have a zip. So it will be cut on fold. So this... Um, this color will be cut on fold so i'm also adding um half inch at the lower part and i'm going to connect also i'm going to add um half inch on the end the center front side that will be for turning the color you know that the front part there is a slit so i'll add half inch for for turning the color at that point So I'll go ahead and add that half inch I talked about earlier uh, at the center front part and also connect it. So after doing this, I want to further contour um, the neck line. Okay, so at this center line, I came inward on both sides of the center line by a quarter of an inch on both sides, so making it a total of half inch. Okay, and I'll connect it down this way. Just watch what I'm doing. So I'm taking quarter inch, quarter inch. So I want to still um, contour it, okay, shape it so that it will tight, um, tighten a bit at the neck part. Okay, so this also to avoid gaping. Okay, so you can leave it as it is 
um, when you came in at the center front but i want to still contour it more that's why i came in what quarter inch quarter inch on both sides okay so i would go ahead and um, cut out my color so like i said before it will be cut on fold and you'll be needing two pieces for your color so i'm just cutting out the the um the color pattern so after cutting out this um part i'm going to cut from one side okay i won't cut out completely i'll cut almost close to the end of the paper and then i'm going to close it up okay it means i'm removing this part i'm going to close it up this way okay just watch what i'm doing i'm going to use my tape and close it up this way you don't want your color to be in pieces in two pieces okay so this is what i have this is my color i would place it on my fabric so i've ironed interfacing on my fabric and my fabric is on fold i'm going to cut two pieces for the color okay so you're going to use the same fabric as the lining for the color so that's what i'm doing i'm cutting out my my color pieces So I've cut them out and I have the two. I'm going to place them right sides together and then I'm going to sew the top part with half inch allowance. After sewing, I'm going to notch and then iron properly. So I've done all that and this is what I have. I've also ironed in one side of the hemming allowance that I'll be using to attach to uh, the neckline. So I notched the midpoint of my collar and I pinned that midpoint to the center midpoint of the center back i'll pin all around and then sew and so after sewing i'm going to flip my collar this way and finish up the edge this part with that half inch allowance i added then i'm going to flip it back and i'll use this other side to cover up the first stitch i made and then top stitch i'll also hem um, the lower part of the dress so guys this is what the dress looks like thank you for watching Please subscribe if you are to subscribe to this channel, turn on the notification bell to be notified every time I upload a new video and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, like this video. Until the next tutorial, bye.